Hello everyone, big day for me. So um, my 2021 sporting program, I will be racing in IndyCar with Delcon Racing um, without the ovals, but for all road and street course circuits. And I am very happy to be racing again. IndyCar, because I believe it's a great championship. It's the highest single-seater championship you can have in the US. Uh, everyone has got the same car, meaning everyone's got a chance to win. And that's something that I have been missing for some time. IndyCar for me is, is the Formula One in the US. Uh, obviously, it's a slower car and it's, uh, it, it's the same car for everyone, but it's definitely the best single-seater in the US. Uh, my souvenir from IndyCar, it's Sebastian Bode with, uh, with Newman uh, racing, uh, fighting Paul Tracy and, and winning. I mean, it's champ car, but it's, uh, this is my first winning from, uh, from IndyCar. The level in IndyCar is actually very high. I mean, some of the drivers got huge experience and um, it'd be difficult to beat them, especially that, that most of the circuits, they, uh, they change during the, the weekend uh, street circuits. They keep evolving the bumps and so on. So. Really, I will, have, I will have a lot to learn uh, uh, against those drivers, but uh, it's also very exciting. <music> Tracks in the US, they're great. It's very old style, the way I like it, up and down. If you think of Laguna Seca, Long Beach, uh, Barber, St. Pete, um, Mid-Ohio. I mean, I've been watching all the races on, the, on YouTube uh, over the, the winter and um, try to discover the circuits and, and very, very much looking forward to, uh, to race them. Dale Cohn, because I believe the team has got a great chance to, you know, help rookies and, and to do great. And um, whenever I start, started looking at IndyCar, uh, September, October 2020, uh, Dale was one of the first to come to me. And, and really, I felt that he wanted to go ahead. He wanted to, to create that story that I could go racing uh, in IndyCar and be successful. And um, I've had a lot of contact with him, with, with the engineer as well from Delcoin, and uh, the relationship has been great from the beginning. So really looking forward to represent Delcoin in IndyCar and hopefully win some races for him. Well, the first year, the, it's always difficult to set up a target. I think uh, really it's, it's, it's to do the best we can. And um, obviously I want to win races, as I say, but uh, the level in the championship is very high. So... I guess we will have to wait and see and, and see how I adapt, but uh, I think it's going to be great fun. Driving an IndyCar should be, should be pretty much what I, I remember from my GP2 days. You know, it's, uh, it's a car that's got good aerodynamics, a powerful engine, but no power steering wheel, no help, uh, no recovery, no hybrid system. So really very much an in, a, a GP2 car. And um, obviously, I, I need to jump in to see how it goes, but that's that's what I'm expecting, and um, obviously, that's um, that's a championship I won in the past. So uh, I had a good feeling in that car, and I'm sure we can set it up the way I like it. I don't know if suffer is, is really the word, but definitely it's going to be a challenge. But uh, I like challenges, and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, no power steering wheel. I've been in the gym a fair bit this winter. Uh, Treading a bit of the neck training for the, the arms and the shoulders. So um, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to see if I've done the good job in the gym. I haven't done really proper simulator for IndyCar, but uh, at home I've got the eSport equipment and uh, on our racing you've got an IndyCar car. And uh, I've been driving it a fair bit, uh, especially the push to pass button that I'm, I'm seems to be enjoying quite a fair bit and the discovering the tracks. So uh, this is the only experience I have so far, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, the first test in IndyCar is not yet confirmed um, because the, the, the calendar has just been changed a little bit with Barber jumping from first to, uh, Sampich jumping from first to second race of the championship. But I think it will be mid-February and uh, as much as we can wait, better it will be for my recovery. So talking of recovery, am I 100% yet? No, I'm not yet 100%, uh, but I will be by early April. So uh, this is what matters to me. Um, the left thumb is, is the longest one to recover. And um, I think, yes, as I say, it's, it's going to take some time, but by early April, I'll be ready to race. 
I've been uh, talking to Simon Pagnot and he's been a great help. You know, he knows the championship very well and uh, he knows what I know from Europe. And uh, really having someone in the US that knows the championship, knows how it works and giving you advice really makes it a lot easier. So thank you for Simon. Uh, also Marcus Ericsson that knows Formula One and know IndyCar. They've been great help. And, you know, um, from every question, they're always here to answer and to help me. No, I'm not going to do Indy 500. Um, as I said, the accident in Bahrain has changed a little bit my uh, my view on um, on how things are gonna go and the, the danger of racing. I'm born racer and I'm still ra- I'm still want to race. I'm still a racer, but you know taking the risk of doing high speedways. Um, no, so uh, I will not do Indy 500. It's a race that I would love to win in my career, but I think no. I just uh, I think. Uh, I may have used a bit, uh, a bit of luck in, in Bahrain and don't really want to push it too far for now. Yes, first time with the Honda engine and I'm very, very happy. I believe it's a, it's a great one for IndyCar. Um, Honda is, is one of the biggest, if not the biggest constructor in the world. And uh, I think in Formula One, they've shown that they can do um, amazing, uh, amazing work. And, and in IndyCar, you know, from everyone I've been talking to, to say Honda is, is a very good engine, um, very good drivability, good fuel consumption. So looking forward to see what it does. Yes, I've been driving a lot of cars and, and that's not the end of the list. You know, I've, I've always been saying that I want to do Paris-Dakar and it's not, it's not a joke. It's the race that I really would like to do. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, definitely... I've, I've experienced something that I wish I didn't experience in a way, but also grateful that uh, I came alive from that crash in Bahrain. And, you know, I've, I've been for the last many years trying to hang out, hang out to Formula One and, and stay in the engine to Formula One and stay in there. But um, no, I realized that actually you can be very happy outside. And uh, what matters to me right now is to win races. Um, and and that is that is stronger than than being in Formula One, even though it's the pinnacle of motorsport. So I'm, I'm ready for a new challenge, and uh, I said ready to race. Um, before the Bahrain crash, I would have said yes, I do the ovals. Right now, I say no, I don't do the ovals. But if not, I'm ready to race. I'm not scared. I'm not going to leave in the US. I'm going to do the the travel from Europe. Uh, I think for my kids, it's a, it's a touch easier, and, and not doing the ovals allows me to to do that but uh, in the summer I think we're going to rent a big camping car and uh, go all together discover US um, you know cycling kite surfing walking going uh, everywhere we can go for the kids it's going to be a great experience for, for us as well and something we always wanted to do and uh, I always told Mario that the, the first year I retired for Formula 1 we're going to go and do the west coast of the US in a camping car so it's happening. Mm-hmm.